Holy cow, we figured out how Ollie got out. Go up the stairs. Go up the stairs, where is he? Oh my goodness, Oliver. Jump to, jump to Sophie. Oh my gosh, this is not gonna go well. Go up there and catch him. Mom, you go up there, I don't- Uh oh, here he comes, here he comes. Good. Put your arms up there against the wall. Hi, Willow. So uh, that is how it begins, ladies and gentlemen. They know how to get out. He is a master at escaping. Oh. Hey, girls. Look, you were rolling. And I don't know how that got out. Like, what the heck happened? I feel like it was a t twilight zone in the barn yesterday. Molly, get Molly! Oh, my gosh. Sometimes life happens, you guys, whether you're ready or not. Like, that's just what happens. Life just sometimes happens. If the cats are ready to go, then they're ready to roll. All right, so we are on, I don't know what day, eight, back it up, of switching up the horse's grain. We're gonna do another adjustment tonight. So that soon they're all completely over. Gabby, would you know where Willow's uh, medicine? Who gave Willow her medicine last night? Um, Do you know where the syringe is? No, use it because it's broken. How did it break? This is it right here. Is it broken? Is this it right here? Not that one. That one's not broken. The syringe for the other medicine. So this is her one for her medicine though? Yeah. We couldn't find it all morning. Last night, did I say good morning? Good morning, guys. Sent you sent Gabby up? Oh my gosh, don't let her walk on a, on a bad area. Well, get my cat. He came to me and then he ran away. Oh. So I need a bag. Grab that pony, grab that pony. Well, I need a halter. Just grab her. She does fine without a halter. She likes this medicine. I put and all that away. Really I put it. all that away. Did you put it? Did you guys take it out? I didn't. You didn't? Oh, I did. No, I think it was probably Gracie. Like, they act like they're afraid of that, but I put that away yesterday. And we didn't put a bucket in there. How the heck? That's why I feel like it's the twilight zone. Gabby, how did that thing get out? The pool. Oh, it was over there. Oh, I forgot the geldings were in here yesterday because of the rain. So what's Chino? They moved it right over the Yeah, they play with this. They play with it, you guys. Like, who put the bucket in there? Geldings. The geldings? Like, oh, I love it. You got them. Listen, mister. I feel like we should... Move around our tack room so he can't get out there. Yeah. Yeah. Is it not really the best place for you? I no. Like, Mom, I got out. He's like, again. So now we know how he gets out. Like, he could have just ran down those stairs. All right, let's feed. Let's feed these ponies. Have you ever been so busy that you haven't been able to keep up on your life, like cleaning? Mom. And stuff? Exactly how I feel right now. Like, our barn is a mess. Our house is a mess. Our barn is a mess. Our house is a mess. And it's driving me insane. Like, I feel like I have a ton of cleaning to do before our trainer comes tonight. We're supposed to have lessons tonight with Brandon. And I need to get, like, there's just a lot to do today. All right, are we ready you guys to roll? need to tell him something? Yes. Stay where we put you. Little Mr. Escape Artist. We want to keep you forever. He probably said hi to the horses. So, uh, two reasons I don't want them out yet is because a, a little. They're little and they and might go on the road. We have a busy road and that's scary. Here, yeah, we have hawks, yeah. And B, I wanna get him neutered first sure. and spayed first before they go wandering because hormones will make them wander farther. I think he already went wandering. Yeah, I think you are too wandering. So we need we to- We the girl is gonna explore the most. So I'm gonna call that and I'm gonna call the vet and book their appointment in for the next few. Like I'm not gonna do it too soon when they're this tiny. I want to do it he's just. Big. No, he's Look little. How big he yeah, he's a baby, baby. He looks so big on the camera. And this dog will play with anything. That's kind of like my new horse. That's like the breed of like the Pasolino breed is kind of like the Border Collie breed. They're like 
excited and ready to go almost all the time. Like they like to work, they like to be busy, they like to be stimulated, they like to do stuff. Like it's a totally different mindset than like the quarter horse that I'm familiar with. So what different. Yes. Our cats are very comfortable with us. Like we've done a good job socializing them, huh? But they don't like, he doesn't like to stay in the barn now. Yeah, that's the problem. You don't like to stay in the barn. feeling of having muscles now like having muscles in your thighs where to put their food I'm so excited about my new horse like you guys do not even understand how crazy this is I just want to ride all the time you have to make it so all I doesn't want to leave. and based on our trail ride last night I'm not gonna have to uh, I'm not gonna have a problem getting other people to help me with my horse and to ride her because so many people love the Pasofino that rode with us like Gabby loves it. If you can see in the videos of our trail rides, she's laughing the whole time. People have commented on that. They say that they always feel like they would laugh because they look so funny. And the truth is that you do laugh the entire time and it's not because they're funny. It's because, you're so dirty, Gracie. It's because the motion is so fun. Like it is, it's like going on a ride. It's like you, it's so comfortable and so safe but so fun, like it's just amazing. The other thing is, is that like no matter what they throw at you, like the, the girl that I was riding yesterday, she wanted to go with her friends, I held her back. She pretty much listened to anything I told her, but I had to tell her. And anything they kind of throw at you, except for maybe bucking, you can handle. Like they don't, even if they, even if they galloped away with you, you just sit there. Like nothing happens if they gallop away from you. So there's like bucking. Honestly, last night we left the geldings in here because um, of the rain, it, it was torrential rain pour, and we knew that they would not handle it while we were away. Or actually, we didn't want to put them out there because I didn't want to put them out there. Correction. Look at this little whip; it's so cute. Because I didn't want any accidents to happen. They get running and and sliding around in their field. They can slide underneath the fence, or anything can happen. So I put them in in the arena, which is safe, safer. And they destroyed it, like. I haven't, wasn't down here in the barn. We were on the go all day yesterday, but holy heck, I can see how your barn can get out of hand, out of control, and messy and dirty if you're not able to be here every single day and work with it. All right, we are done for the morning. All the poop is picked up. All the stalls are clean. I swept the floor, but no matter what, when the dogs are running by, it just gets messy. Gabby's just finishing adding shavings to Chino's stall. Sophie's dumping her bucket in the wrong spot. I don't think I mentioned that our lawnmower, our new brand new lawnmower broke and Sam had to take it back to the store and get it repaired. So I don't know when that's gonna be back. So our yard is kind of looking kind of crazy. Things are changing here at the day by day farm. It's getting to be fall now and we're gonna be changing things up. Like um, next week the boys are going to their new home and we'll be able to let the grass Settle, we'll be able to clean all the poo. We'll be able to like rearrange stuff. I'll be getting a horse. We'll be able to like, just so many things are changing. We're gonna maybe set up our arena differently um, to make it more of like a desensitizing area. You guys saw how that the horses like to play with whatever we leave in there. And that makes me excited. We are getting ready to go into a whole new horsey season. New adventures, new learning, new experiences, new growth. I'm not gonna lie, my legs actually do hurt. You don't post on a Pasofino. You Isn't that cool? Yeah, if they're doing like their real trot, you can, but when they're gating, you don't post. And then I can see. Kind of bratty. <sighs> Hi. Okay, lots of food, lots of water. We'll get you guys a treat for breakfast. Everybody's dirty and grungy. She swapped eggs? Yeah. What do you mean? She swapped eggs. Oh. She swapped eggs. That is not cool. They're still warm. Maybe she's just having her a few minutes away from them and doing something different. Let's leave her. Let's see. Let's, let me see the baby eggs. There's nothing underneath her. There's, uh, 
a lot, but obviously some aren't gonna hatch, especially those little tiny ones. But they're out, oh, I see one moving. One's moving? Maybe yeah. it's gonna hatch soon. It will, next week probably. Get back on your eggs, honey. We're so silly. Mama's on the ground. The mama chicken is on the ground. That was a different egg chicken. That was a different hen laying. Is that her? Yeah, she looks like. She looked mad. She just She looked flying. like she was limping. She, she's not limping. <laughs> she is limping. She hasn't been walking for a while. Maybe she just needs blood flow. That's probably what she's doing. Let's go get them some treats. Good thing we didn't try and throw her over there. We we bought a bag of chicken scratch. It's got corn and oats and stuff in there. I think she's actually looking for some of that. No. So we just give it to them like once every couple of days because we want them to eat their laying. Limping is getting better. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think she just is like feeling the effects of never getting off her eggs. There you go, babies. You can tell when that thing's happy. Put them up in her little nest there. <laughs> Just a little. Every morning I feel like he's calling us, come and let me out and get me some treats. Ava's on the eggs. Uh-oh, the other chicken's on the eggs? Yeah. Ooh. I think they're taking turns now. Oh, no. Oh, she's out. She knows better. She better get away from her mama. Her mama hen. The mama charged at us for yeah. looking at her eggs. Like, That's okay. She's a good mama. Six slash thirty slash twenty ten. So six month. Yeah. June thirtieth, two thousand. So Gracie was born June thirtieth. She's, She's ten years old. I love ten year old horses. Wait, is she ten now? Yeah. yeah she she just, just turned ten. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Gabby's got all her papers. We we need to make a photocopy of See, our mama registration papers. Bent this paper. And look at Storm. Storm has had his paper for a while. And if you put it, managed to bend it. Hey, and listen. Like one day that we got it. it came in a small envelope bent. In half, like this. Yeah. Cleanly. Yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. And look at Storm. Stuff happens, friends. And then we also have more papers. See, Storm is so straight. We also have. Those are are those copies of his uh, papers? This is a copy of a photo. This different signature oh, I could, the vice president. Oh, I could. Um, we have to send in papers now to take make Chino ours. So okay. we got a bunch of stuff at the store yesterday. Yeah, so I hand sanitized my hands, which I already did. She got a little chubby witch. Let's see her. Do you guys want to see Storm as a foal? Yeah, let's see. Storm as a foal. Oh wait, markings. Star, broken stripe, and snip. Right fore pasture in white, dark spot on right fore cornet, left hind sock, dark spots on hind cor cornet, right hind pasture in white, freeze brand. Okay, let's just see the CRF picture. CRF connected on the left thigh, no other markings. My new horse has one marking. No. One mm. tiny little the star. Also branded too. Is it a star? On my I girl? Got Stormy as a baby. Oh, you can't really see. You can see him clear enough. Baby. There he is. Storm is a baby as a foal. Looks exactly the same. Looks like he has the exact same attitude. Like, I swear, he has just the exact attitude that he was born with. So. So I hand sanitized, but I already did that. This is her hand routine, you guys. Since and yesterday. I grabbed some lotion. I like this lotion best. Strawberry pound cake. It smells it divine. Smells you only need a little bit because... I don't, let's see. Oh yeah, that's a little bit. Yesterday when we were at the mall, Jacob got some hand sanitizer and I swear he squirted it and it missed his entire hand. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and then he just walked on. And then, on the back of I do my lipstick. But the lipstick I want is missing because mom used it yesterday. I know, because I love you it. didn't put it back. I know, she may have taken it. You know it. when your dog is smart is when you throw her a toy and she wants you to throw it so badly that she puts it on your lap. I know, and if she, you don't throw it, then she comes to us and we have to throw it. Uh -huh. All right, so this is what we do in the day-by-day -day household when we're bored. It is rainy and yucky outside. Our lesson got postponed. Oh, yeah. Aww, I love your puppy. Wait, do we know who this is? What, what program is this? House party. House party. So the girls go on to house party and they find random people and then they join their parties. They join their rooms. How old are you? I'm 12. 12, oh, I love that, that's amazing. Do you, do you guys know her? 
No. no. Do you know us? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because we never know. They just join random people on house party, and we're like, wait, do we do? What do we ask them? What do we talk about? Where do you live? In Ireland. Oh, you don't even have an accent. Let us hear you talk. Say day by day rocks. Day by day rocks. You have. You don't even have an an accent. What's your dog's name? Um, Buster. Buster. Aw, oh, he's adorable. Aw, oh, so sweet. All right, well, thanks for chatting with us. All right, girls are still chilling. You guys, they are been relaxing all day. I'm gonna go down and take care of the horses because that's what a good mama does. I feel so sorry for Storm. He was in his house and I came down and he heard me coming and he galloped to meet me at the gate. Such a good boy. I'm gonna get you medicine tomorrow and then you're gonna go in with your friends again, okay? Based on what the barn looks like when I come down in the morning, I have a feeling that these two little kittens don't just lay here all night. They must lay here during the day and then at night they're just crazy. But they're best friends. Aren't you guys best friends? I have the smell of gas on my hands. They're like, what is that smell? Yes. Good boy, good girl, you're so pretty. Our lessons got rescheduled this week for Sunday. I feel like we live, sleep, and eat horses and horse stuff. There's just so much going on all the time with the lessons and the riding and the, and sometimes I feel like the girls really just need a day or a couple of days to decompress and that's what kind of like what today is i mean they would come down here and do whatever i told them to do and they were down here and did chores amazing this morning like no problem it's more that sometimes they just need like i'm a workaholic i like to be busy all the time i can't sit but for kids they need time to just sit and chill out and relax and then when they come back at it they are even that much more focused so that's what today is Yesterday we did so much with horses, like the ride and the, like all of it. It just was such a busy, long day. The shopping, the ride, all of it. They just need a good day to rest and I'm excited for them to have that today. Right, so now I'm gonna cut this grass and it's gonna go from this to, if you guys were thinking that cutting the grass was a little too ambitious for me, you were right. You were right. Ah, Molly should be my dog. We both have the same energy level. Don't we? Yes, we do. Look at those spots. Look at that spotted belly. So I got a quarter of it done, guys. Ugh, a whole, maybe more than a quarter. Ah, and then everything started hurting so bad. <laughs> All my body hurts kind of. A lot of my muscles hurt from my ride yesterday. And, oh. I can't do any more right now. Oh, I am joining the girls on the couch. Or maybe I'm gonna kick them down here to finish it. <laughs> to the P.O. box office. Wait, P.O. office box. P.O. office box because this young girl oh, blue. keeps on telling me, Laura, there's a package there for you. So we went and we picked it up. There's hopefully a letter. Oh, mine is a pink. Dream it, believe it, do it. Wow, that's like actually... scrunchy. Oh, that's cute. I got a box. You got a box? I know my favorite. <laughs> Gabby loves boxes. This is a beautiful pad. Oh, Dream it, believe yeah. it, do it. It's mascara. I thought it was gonna be a mascara. Purple tube that we have upstairs that's empty. Oh yeah. It's the same stuff. Oh. Is it from? Oh, that's so thoughtful. What a thoughtful person. Is there a letter? Look at the balloons Look at this. Horse. Oh, they're horse balloons. Don't oh. waste them, Sophia. Don't waste them, Sophia. Name it, believe it, do it. And this is like a little, I'm going to use this to make all my YouTube lists on it. Like I make lists of videos that I want to do. It's so super cute. I love it. Thank you. Mommy, and then the horse balloons. This is Gabby's favorite mascara of life, but I refuse to buy it because it's so expensive. <laughs> Okay, it's so it. nice. Like, I suck at buying gifts. Like, I cannot buy people gifts. But this girl totally knows us. Let's see what she has to say. 
Her name is Layla and she's 11 years old. She watches our videos all the time. They make her smile and she loves watching us ride. It's one of her dreams to meet us or at least talk to us. I wanted to give you guys little goodies in my letter. The ones with names on them go to the person that has the name, obviously. I really want to see you guys open my package. I tried to give something to everybody. It makes me happy just knowing you are going to see this sooner or later. Um, she rides horses. She plays Roblox. She loves our videos. She lives in uh, South Carolina in the USA. I think it's South Carolina. She's a vegetarian. She doesn't have a horse yet, but she really wants one. She has a YouTube channel. It's called Curly Haired Mushroom. Curly Haired Mushroom. And here's a photo of her. Thank you for opening my gift. Thank you, Layla, hey, for giving called? us a gift. Curly Haired Mushroom. Gabby's look. Yeah, Gabby's like anybody who gives me makeup. Get some follow. Yeah, send mascara. You get a follow and a beautiful scrunchie. I love it. That's so cute. That's that's Curly one of your colors. Curly haired mushroom. This is her. Her horse is so cute. It looks small. Almost looks like an Arabian to me, but I don't know. Let me see. Kind of. Oh, I got it. I got something right. Uh, thank you so much, Layla. That was so sweet. I love your presents. You picked perfect presents for all of us. I love my little book. It's amazing. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you. Like, I thank you so much. We went to the tax store to uh, buy Storm his supplement, but they were closed. I wish I just got it on camera. I have to go put the cab on the lawnmower. All right, so I'm carrying a gas can through the field. <laughs> and I'm kind of being attacked here. Mildly, mildly being attacked. Like... You never know. It's gas, Chino. Get off of me. Oh, good golly. I do not like walking between horses. Oh, okay. Go! I don't know if they think it's food or if they think it's something to play with, but I do not do horses following me around. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way